And for the last half hour, we have covered everything from teen mental health to economic barriers facing women in Spokane County. The only reason any of these issues came to light is because of a comprehensive report commissioned by the Women Helping Women Fund. Let's bring in our KXLY Plus anchor, Rob King, for a moment. Rob, so glad you're with us. And Hi you spoke guys. with the organization, right? You had a conversation together yes. um, with the organization's executive director who says despite all of these issues that we've been addressing, there is a positive message here. Yeah, I spoke with Heather Hamlin this morning. We did a live stream interview. It's available on our socials and on our website. But one of the things she touched on was she understood when I told her, I was, I was like, Heather, this is frankly depressing. Mm -hmm. And she said, there's actually a lot of good reasons uh, why it's not all negative in this report. And we have a short clip to play for you. What I hope is that when folks access this report and look at the data, that they see the humanized stories that are woven throughout. So sure, the data looks like it's pretty dismal um, in some areas, but in the full report, we also look at the bright spots in our communities. Those providers that are going- And Rob, she just mentioned bright spots in the community. What are those? So there's actually a lot more nonprofits in our community doing really positive work than even us that have you know our ear to the ground even know about. So one of the things that the Women Helping Women Fund does is pick those nonprofits and say, this report shows us there's an increase of domestic violence. Let's be funding more domestic violence nonprofits. And now it's about getting the education out to the women and children that these resources are available to them. And so, I mean, you're kind of touching on it right here, but why is it so important to identify these issues? One of the things that Heather said during the live stream that I really liked was if you can name it, you can tame it. So by identifying these are issues, we now know where to put the funding, what to tackle, and how to get the community to move forward from here. It's so important, and I think it's touched a lot of people in this newsroom. Um, since the Women Helping Women Fund gave this report, um, and, and of course, Chris Crocker was MC, and it was just an important topic for so many of us. So thank you, Rob, for continuing to bring these issues to light. Of course, I'm happy to do it. And you can watch the full live stream interview on KXLY.com and KXLY Plus for your connected TVs. That's Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. Rob, thank you. Our State of Women and Girls coverage doesn't end here on KXOY.com. We have the link to the full report and a link to an interactive dashboard. And there you can also find links on how to get involved to help be part of the solution. For News Now, we'll be right back.